Burger King has started taking advantage of Dogecoin again. It is now offering the cryptocurrency as a reward to American customers. Fast food giant Burger King has partnered with Robinhood to distribute cryptocurrencies to its customers. All buyers that make a $5 purchase will receive guaranteed Dogecoin, alongside a chance to win Ether and Bitcoin. Crypto with your combo meal. As detailed in a press release from Burger King earlier today, the new crypto giveaway is part of the Business Royal Perks program. Members earn crowns for every dollar they spend at the restaurant, which may be redeemed for more fast food. This time, program members that purchase over $5 of food through the Burger King app will receive a prize code via email. This code may be redeemed through the Robinhood crypto trading app to receive cryptocurrency. Every prize code includes a guaranteed sum of Doge, though the exact amount included in each purchase is unspecified. However, there are a total of 2 million Dogecoin available, which amounts to over $500 million at its current price. There is also a small chance for buyers to earn either ETH or BTC, alongside their Dogecoin. The odds of winning Ether are 110001, with over 200 available, $800,000. Meanwhile, the odds of winning Bitcoin are 10 times higher at 1 colon 10011, with just 20 available, $1.17 million. Prizes are limited to one code per customer, per day, for a total of 21 days. The contest lasts from November 1st to 21st and is available only in the US. Promoting with Dogecoin This isn't the first time either Burger King or Robinhood has leveraged Dogecoin for profit. In late July, Burger King announced that it would be accepting Dogecoin for dog treat purchases at its Brazilian stores. Furthermore, there are over 40 BK locations throughout Venezuela that accept multiple other cryptocurrencies for purchasing regular food. As for Robinhood, more than 60% of the company's revenues came from Dogecoin trading on their platform in Q2 of this year. However, this number has since dropped to 40%, causing an overall decline in the platform's Q3 revenue.